Live. We're live. What's happening, guys? Today's actually a cooking show. <laughs> How to have nachos and salsa. Not even nachos, just chips. But chips and salsa on like a really hot day is like delicious. Not while I was in there, I was starving. This was all that was within uh, reaching distance. Mm -hmm. So I was in and out. Fair. What are you guys up to? Is that a glutton? It's always so awkward when we're just here. No one else is. Yeah. Are, are we here? Just here. Eating our chips. What's up, Mountains? Finally warm enough. Average up. Joe, how's it going? Robert Scratch, how's it going? Hello, Dab Life. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> nacho cheese. Oh, we should. If we had nacho cheese on this, it'd be even better. But I'm going healthy. We're just using uh, salsa. Move your hand. Low calorie, low salt. None of that is true. <laughs> I got extra salty chips. Way too much space. I know, right? Sitting in the middle of the garage. I think I've done this like five times in the 15 years I've been here. <laughs> Everything hurts. What'd you do, man? It's working too hard or what? Seven. How about a 78 four by four? Hi, Peter. Yeah. Hello, Kirk and kiddo. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Hang with the kiddos. That sounds like a real buzzkill. Does this seem really small? Is it always that small? I don't know. Might be. Yeah, Challenger's wicked. It was overheating real bad. I think I got it figured out, though. I got a hat right on, man. Oh, Bert, thanks so much, man. We gotta get some hats. Not doing the show in the pool? It <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually started to rain. It was freaking hot here today. I was in the pool all day today. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like I can see that I'm a shade or two darker than I once was. The garage starts at like 92 in the garage right now. It's hot in here. It's hot. Is that radius wheel openings I see? People yeah. have eagle eyes. Well, when the radiuses are that big, you can see them from space. <laughs> <laughs> Need to sell some hats with wigs attached. I thought you were going to do the beard comb over it. Hi, Miranda and the whole fam. I'm having white wine tonight. Having a twisted tea. Three. I was in the pool Thursday, yesterday, today. Not tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day. Monday's supposed to rain, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next week are all looking good. 102 in South Dakota. Holy man, that's hot. Well, I guess we got there. We got to 36. Today, the garage at 36 at the hottest point of the day in inside in the sheet. That's pretty yeah. hot. Oh, I love the Manitoba heat. Like, this is where I'm just happiest. That thunder is crazy. I hope the babies are okay. They were sleeping. When I went oh, in were there. they? They didn't give a crap. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Three years in the pool, pool season over, pretty much, yeah. No, false. I have like six more bikinis I need to show off. Well, chlorine poisoning. Are you drinking the chlorine? No. I think you're okay then. We uh, we didn't replace the water with all chlorine this year. We learned <laughs> we learned that was bad last year. Yeah, the old scoop does look good, eh? They just prefer their away. Maybe. <laughs> you can read it on that screen. Oh, yeah. 58 fair lanes. It's all your fault. Yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Hi, Tim. How's it going, man? Happy Saturday, indeed. Way more, way more serious things my fault. Actually, I'm confused. It's super sunny, but it's boring. Today I got a... 
uh, letter from the city. It was a little panic. Turned those a check. Bye, Dab Life. Pretty See good. you later. He's out here already. Later, man. <laughs> what about Dan's mankini? <laughs> yeah. You look good, man. Gee, all those chips. Uh, yeah. You got the rest? Well, I don't want the rest. I have no room. You can deal with the plate. No, I have no room. There's no. That's going to end bad, and then I'm going to be uh, mad. What? Because you keep breaking and leaving my dishes out here. Go out and play the car. Are you doing that because you want me to get new ones? I hate those dishes. Yeah, pain the hood made a big difference in that thing, eh? It was so lame. Man, that actually looks cool. I dig that thing. Three, three. It's a motor stuck. In my experience, every Dodge motor ever has been stuck. Yeah, you were talking about like getting air conditioning or something for the garage today. <clears throat> yeah. The problem with air conditioning the garage, you have the door down. The whole point of uh, summer is having the door up. Yeah, pink map pretty good, eh? I don't know, Murray, you might be out of a job. <clears throat> yeah, that's that scoop turned out pretty good. I like that scoop better than then, the bug catcher. Yeah. Well, you never know. You gotta you gotta have a multitude of scoops, and you can like you know. It's like you cha you know change one or two outfits where we go out. It's like pit scoops. <laughs> I got checked from the city and I haven't been there in eight years. Yeah, remember when I brought you that thing? I was just like, I think it's a check. You're like, it's not a check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They want my money. <laughs> the city never sends good things. That was shocking, yeah. The old Fitech, yeah. <clears throat> they don't like to lose power, those things, in my experience. Yeah. It is weird to see an empty garage in here, hey, Mystery? Yeah. Very strange. It won't last. It never does. I would not mind a pink hood scoop, I don't think. That car does need a little bit of pink. I just don't know where. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, you know, any support we can get here doesn't really matter to me. Oh, paint jail. <laughs> paint jail's a real thing, yeah. I'm um, bringing home that 56 sedan. Hopefully, Mikey's going to drop it off tomorrow <clears throat> and get her prepped up and sell it. Or at the very least, take the parts I want off it and put it back in storage. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, speaking of tomorrow, you guys. Guess what else is getting delivered tomorrow? What? Well, give him a minute to guess. Oh. What was, did you have a question, Joseph? Did we miss it? We're sorry. <coughs> the camera sound really good for a double burnout. <laughs> <laughs> Hawkeye Hillbilly, yes we do. I can here hold this. I'll post it in the chat. Uh -oh. Floaties for the pool. He's a new puppy, I wish. <laughs> all these are good ideas. We should get all of them. A gremlin? Oh, that'd be nice, too. Yeah, I wish. Finish the story about the city letter. Oh, it was a check. Oh, hi, Rod Modler. Thanks, Thank man. you so much. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, so, no, it's none of those things, but we're getting a couch. Someone said sofa. Oh, yeah, we're getting a couch. Yay! That can't That's be a, a correct P.O. box that you gave there. That's it. Let's all jam together. P. Oh. <clears throat> it's just in, uh, it's in every video. Or in the about section or whatever. It'd be way better. Than yeah, Matt, it's to, crazy to hot out. <clears throat> Big dog treat. <laughs> have you seen? Henry uh, said so fun. <laughs> have you seen her destroy your chair? She shoot the whole back right off of it. What? <laughs> That's bad. Kenneth, it's happening, man. What? Yeah, the whole corner, like the face of the window, it's gnawed down to the lumber. 
She's toothpicking it. It's just my reading chair. It's disgusting now. Oh, I could smell. never sit in that chair anymore. <coughs> She's it's also so chewing gross. her books and everything there. What? Yeah, all, all that whole corner's been mangled. <sighs> no. Yeah, that's why there's no car in the garage. <laughs> We'll always talk about you lot's dab life. You're hard to forget, man. My mom talks about you every time I talk to her. Mm -hmm. How's dab life doing? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, we're best friends and all. He's got, he's sending me pictures now of all sorts of cars we don't need. Yeah. He's got some new shop he's working he at. He sent me pictures of those cars just now. There's like a really nice truck. That and dune buggy? I don't know if I saw the dune one? buggy. That's pretty cool. But... We had some sideways fun the challenge the chal that's such a challenger. Um why don't we take it over bagging on it? <clears throat> Monday or Tuesday? Like the day it blew up? <clears throat> the day after we beat on it. Yeah, it left us stranded last Sunday, right? Mm -hmm, so it would have been on a Saturday then. Well the day after Sunday <laughs> would be Monday. Bruce, <clears throat> love you long time. That's funny. The uh we took it out, overheated real bad, left us stranded for a while. Drove her home, overheated again, when I got home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then it just sat for a few days. And then I ordered a bunch of parts for it. But no, we took it the next day, just real, like, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe 10 minutes away. In a little industrial area, we was bagging on it. And that thing is a, it's a ripper. It's, it's fast. Well, it spins tires like crazy. <laughs> hey, I guess the city is kind of buying us a coach. Actually, no, I think the city's going to, Pay for a tree getting cut down. Well, I just overpaid. I got my tax credit back. I didn't think you ever got that money back. They announced it a couple weeks ago. Oh, it's just a, a unique thing that stuff people are getting? Huh. It's pretty rare you get money back from the city. <laughs> I mean, they'll just pay it in fines, but <laughs> whatever. It's nice to feel like you have a win every now and again. Hi, 65. Well, we missed a lot here. Ooh, 65 Galaxy. First time in 45 years. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I love when stuff gets back on the road. <clears throat> you're just you're scrolling all over the comments. You can't read any of them. Well, I was trying to go back. I meant if whatever everybody just said the last 30 seconds, retype it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's not too hot. I like the heat. I'd rather deal with this than anything else, I tell you. Yeah, the old Challenger. She sounds wicked, that thing, eh? Loping away. God. I quite like it, actually. I didn't think I was gonna. I need uh, <clears throat> a set of quieter mufflers and some tailpipes, and that thing would actually be a uh, decent charge. It's got a manual valve body, which is a little lame, but... Joseph, I wish I knew the answer to that question. But yeah. I don't. But we're glad you <clears throat> do. So welcome here. <laughs> Bad what's happening, man. Or guys. Figured be live from the pool. Yeah, just start. Running. I tried to convince him to let us do it. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> Thank you very much for your donation. <laughs> what are you saying? You man? know, it was hard work, uh, but I just couldn't handle the glitter anymore, which, you know, between all of my glitter and his glitter, it was too much glitter. <coughs> Boulder Dash. <laughs> okay, Glutton. Man, it's so racy, though, like, it's, I'm sure it's cool for you guys to watch like a 10 minute video of me be bagging on it, but sitting in the car is terrible. If you could build any car you wanted, what would it be? It changes all the time, but I really want an early Camaro right now. Oh, uh, hey Rick, welcome here. We're glad you're uh, hanging out. Well, do you want to quickly go over the rules for the, the link? Does anybody actually want in? There's no pictures there. There's I been a in couple thing. people pop in and pop out. So maybe just like say it. The rules. Because you say them good. They're in the link. Nobody <laughs> reads the link. I watch for energy and pleasantness <laughs> and the occasional Canadian swear words. Yeah. <laughs> what are the Canadian swear words? Zoot. Well, I'm just telling you shit. What's happening, man? Man, that hot rod turned out good. You do good paint work. 
I really would like a 67 Camaro. It's my favorite year. But I'd take any of them if they were affordable. That's what I'm hoping I'm going to I'll get that 56 sedan home. There's a couple of things I want to take off, and I want to take the intake manifold off because I can't sell a dual dual quad tunnel ram. And uh, what else do I want to take? Maybe the seats out of it. <clears throat> I got another seat I want to put in it. And then uh, the front wheels and tires. So if I do that, then I want to see if I can either sell it, but I'd like to just trade for something, to be honest with you. Dan can drive the Kia whenever he wants. Usually he drives it when it needs work. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I like Ben Windows. That's why I like the 67. So the link is in the video description if you want to show off what you got. Car-wise. Car-wise, yeah. <laughs> or shop-wise. Or shop-wise. Friendly reminder <clears throat> just to make sure you got good internet because that's a big issue. If your internet's not great, we're going to have to boot you. No hard feelings. Uh, if you join and you don't have, like, your video going, we're not going to click your thing to accept you in. Uh, make sure you have, like, good language. Don't be potty mouthing. What else? Cigarette smokers. Good lighting. <laughs> yeah, good lighting <coughs> is important. So if it's dark, maybe shoot us a message for next week. I got a set of uh, tor no daisies on the back of the 55. I love bent windows. They're just so cool. Everything I have has bent windows, basically. Maybe I should get some little bent windows. <laughs> New Rock Auto and Amazon parts couch. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. The dogs love the like our old couch, but we have no room to keep it. <clears throat> First one I saw was yellow on the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, just you know the sixty sevens don't get as much love. I mean the sixty nine is just so well known. I, I think this the grills on the sixty eights just aren't for me. <clears throat> Trade you a big block sixty eight Chevelle for that challenger. Yeah. <laughs> Are you local or what? Yeah, Hi, Ron today. Ringle. My first car was a 68 Camaro RS. 100 bucks. Sat from 71 till 85 when my girlfriend bought it for me. <coughs> Kept it for 20 years. Was money pit for sure. Countless engines, trans, body parts. Do you still have it, Carolina Beecher? My uh, my old man, one of his buddies, was on a bike ride stuff by day. So he started <coughs> shooting shit for a bit. And he was saying he had a... I don't know, 50, I'm terrible with the names, 56 Porsche uh, Speedster or something like that, or uh, no, Cabrio, uh, the removable roof or something, like removable hardtop. <clears throat> Dang, I need a girlfriend. Same. <laughs> and uh, he bought it for 100 bucks. I so bought you a car. And you're selling it. What are we talking about? Yeah. Well, do you want me to keep it forever? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I bought it and he's gave me the money when I came home. Yeah. It's a thought that counts. So now you're buying the next car, really. Oh. I'm trading up. You bought the paper clip, but I'm going to get the house. Ah. Oh, nah. I like 67 uh, and 8 Mustangs. Those are cool. But actually, I like the earlier ones, too. I want to, I really want a 60, uh, like whatever, 67, whatever, uh, notch. I don't want to turn it into a hard top. Dodge last one was A body. I don't like A bodies. They're not for me. First Camaro I played with is a '67 big block pro street car, tunnel ram through the hood, and big meats. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome car. There's a couple of those cruising around town. There's a guy with like it's like a green one, just big steamroller tires in the back. It's cool. The early Merrill Goon Squad bot. I didn't. I actually don't watch a lot of YouTube. <coughs> Rustangs are trash. Come on. Oh, yeah, Michelle, we're keeping the wagon. He's talking about the 56 sedan. That was the, it's like primered white. 5,500 bucks. So, like, I was like, I want to do that conversion. So, the panel, it's like, that it goes around the, the window. And it's a rocker as well, so if things all rotted out, you just change the whole thing. It looks pretty good. I'll find one one of these days. <clears throat> yeah, 57 will come home at some point. I actually, I ordered a bunch of parts for that 57, and, uh... <laughs> what's hers is hers, and what's yours is also hers. Agreed. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> <clears throat> I ordered a bunch of stuff for, uh... That 57, I haven't got it yet. 
pain. Yeah, knockbacks were big money now. Like, I don't know. Like, just a few years ago, like you get like a nice notch for like six or seven thousand bucks. Now they're like ten, fifteen. Oh, maybe the fifty-six is a coupe. I don't know. Isn't the fifty-six a coupe? No, a sedan. I think I call that a sedan. It's a two-door sedan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so there we go. Not hearing the thunder. When was your last big trip? Well, oh, long time ago at this point. A couple of years ago. I went to SEMA. The last SEMA there was. A Batmobile would be so fun. That'd be fun for like a day. Yeah. Then I think it'd be like some. I remember one those. time I was, it was around Halloween, I guess. But there was some guy in like a full Batman costume. And then he was getting into like a wrecked Impala. Like one of those like maybe 2000s or like 1999s those gold ones and it was just rusted on bad and then you just see batman and his like clearly expensive batman costume get into it and i was just <coughs> like oh this is a sad day well, you made your choice <laughs> he owned that car at least <laughs> oh yeah i was rocking jorts oh <laughs> that's nice miranda you got dad doing the work for you <laughs> She said, Dad's folding laundry while I watch you guys. Oh, that's a good deal. Roller rocker upgrade. I'm not a big fan of those crazy expensive stuff. Like, I think, like, I don't know. I just think all that expensive stuff you got to buy, they always seem to break unless you're really bagging on it. And then they're hard to find. Uh, you got to order parts in all the time. I like stock stuff. The 77 Firebird formula picked it up for 5800 bucks. running, driving numbers matching. They're out there. Just got to find them. <clears throat> yep, very, very true. That breeze is nice. We need more of that. Yeah. It's very hot in here. I thought four doors were sedans and two doors were coupes. Uh, so a sedan just means it has a door post. Ah, there's Bert as well. No, two doors can be sedans too. There you go. Bert will figure it out. I'm sitting in my truck, truck bunk in the AC waiting on parts for the Cat V10. Whew, wish we were in there with you, the AC, because I tell you. It's hot. In a, has he really been in a Batmobile? Only have roller rockers and engine the big block. Yeah. I got roller rockers in the 55, <clears throat> to be honest with you. I don't know. I just think all that stuff's a little excessive. Coops technically didn't have a back seat. Oh, there you go. Grabbed a bitchin' 76 Cadillac for $3,200. Runs like new. It's big, you know, let the dogs out in the back. In the yeah, man. It's hot. Oh, Nathan, that's real nice of you. Thanks. <clears throat> what do you say? That he loves the channel. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. I am pretty awesome. Got roller rockers in my 3D3. Yeah, I mean, roller rockers, I mean, you can't go wrong. I actually, what I kind of want to do with the 55 is I want to change it to a roller cam. But not for any sort of performance issues. I just, I hate the, I flattened a few camshafts. I don't know if they're just shitty or if it's the oil or I don't know what. But I want to put some roller rockers and stuff. It just seems like that's the way of the world anyways. <laughs> Why haven't you installed AC in the garage? You spend a lot of time in there. Well, I was just talking about, so I have a little window unit that I could put in here, but uh, then the door's closed. Didn't we give that window unit to Kylie and Dave? Oh, I buy another one then. I don't remember. We gave them something. Yeah, no, it's the zinc, which is whatever, but rollers, it's not crazy money. I mean, it'd be a thousand bucks or whatever to swap it over <coughs> to a roller cam. Which, in the grand scheme of things, we're going to keep the car forever, which I plan on doing. Big ass ceiling fan. Yeah, I should. Honestly, there's I feel no like that'd be here. very loud. We well, just have it on low. You don't need much air movement to really make a big difference. 
Well, B it's EBW put one in the garage, so that's how you know it's actually probably a good idea. <laughs> well, Ed said it, and then BW backed it up. So it all There's makes like sense. There's a couple of two smartest guys we know, and they yeah. have matching these. Yeah, matching of these. Well, they have nothing up top and a lot down <laughs> here. <laughs> that's how you know they're <laughs> smart. Uncle Ken! Remember we just... Ken, we were just we watched something on grafting. The other yeah, day. it was a TikTok on <clears throat> grafting, and we were amazed. About apples. Every apple came from one apple or something? Yeah, every apple came from one apple tree, and now that's how we get all the apples. And you have to... Apples can't grow their own trees? Yeah! You have to, you have to take <clears throat> it from that apple. Is that true? You gotta cut the tree, take the seeds, jam them in... And then it grows the, an apple tree. That's, it seemed like it was made up for TikTok. You need a sunroof and the pup wagon for the pup screws night. <laughs> like the Flintstones, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Ken says no. Oh. oh. Well, that kind of killed us. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, man, we were really excited about that. <laughs> it was pretty... It was pretty... It was very <laughs> <convincing. Yes. laughs> well, I'm, Hey, that's I'm not very... our area of expertise, <laughs> Uncle Ken. Gosh. <laughs> Glenn. Who Come came on. first, the apple or the tree? <laughs> Mr. Abishev, you gotta have sticks. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, I got an apple tree for my birthday years ago. I haven't got one apple out of it. It's never produced fruit for us. It's done nothing. It's not dead, but No, it but it doesn't, it doesn't bloom. It, it doesn't, doesn't nothing. grow. It doesn't do anything. I think Murr got it on discount, though. Avocados also don't grow from type to seed. Oh, hi, Auntie Shannon. Congrats to your niece on graduating. Graduating what? what? Uh, oh, I didn't actually ask. Like university or high school? I don't know. Like 18? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Burr's discount apple trees? Yeah, I think it was uh, Canadian Tire. No, it was from Shelmerdine's, I thought. Because it had a bunch of different kinds of apples. Sometimes if you do that, Dad says you might get a couple of rotten apples in the bunch. Huh. Discount apple trees? Lol. Discount everything if Murr's in charge. <clears throat> well, there's just an apple tree that was supposed to have... It was a weird... It was, a, it was like a, a like a three-in-one apple tree. It was supposed to produce a bunch of different kinds of apples. I think it was grafted. <laughs> Maybe. I think, was, I think it was two or three grafted together. But it never worked. Actually, we should send a picture of it to Uncle Ken. Maybe he can tell us why. I assume it's going to be our fault. It's always our fault. Well, yeah. You know, I think what the big problem is, that's where we drain the pool water into. Oh. Probably not the best for it. Oh, no, Frank's garage. That sucks with your Wi-Fi. <clears throat> Danny likes to come in early and give it a couple thumbs down just for fun. Yeah. I like him to know that I'm secretly mad. Would you buy or make your own front clip for what? Hey, Puglies, how's it going? Good man, yeah. Well, greetings and salutations to you as well, tall guy. How <laughs> tall are you? Mur is so cool. No, nah, Mur's all right. We're going to highlight that Don't one. Don't highlight it. I think Mur would appreciate it. His head's already swollen. When are you going to work on Mur's car with him? We need some Mur in our lives, don't we all? He's done nothing with that. He's been lazy. Okay. What's he done? Well, he, was, he had a busy last week. He went like two bike rides. <laughs> he got a little kitty pool. And <laughs> six, ten. Six, nine. Can't you read? Jeremy Hanna, I'm six, ten. Holy, how are you people so tall? Picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. Yeah, what's up with the Murr ban? Why have you banned Murr? Talk to the government. Yeah, pool water wouldn't be good. <laughs> what else did he say? But if there's a multi variety from a nursery, it was probably crap to start with. Well, I'm sure it was probably crap to start with, then it was on discount. Then Murr haggled with the guy. Will Dee Dee Speed Shop organize a cruise show and shine some Sunday this year? We were talking about that. We'd like to, I think, once the restrictions are over. Maybe not like a like something big, but just like a we're going cruising here and we're gonna stop here for like ten we minutes out, and then uh, bye. Well, what happened? We, we talked about it last night because last night it was like ten thirty and we wanted ice cream. Yeah. So we got in the truck, and went for ice cream, 
And uh, there was a couple of guys out with old hot rods. There's like 10 of them together in that Midas parking lot or something like that. And I hate how Sunday night is the cruise night. It just drives me nuts. We like to go to bed early. I would like to do another night. So I was thinking it'd be kind of cool if we could, like on a Saturday, do this for, uh, you know, whatever, an hour and a half, two hours. And at 9 o'clock, or what time are we at? 9? Yeah, 9. Bail out of here and, uh, like, go shoot, shoot somewhere local. Or maybe keep the live going even. I don't know. And, like, go get ice cream. Or just kind of hang out with some people. I miss people. I miss looking at cars. <laughs> Trey needs a hood scoop. Tell me about it. All right. New here. HP Hatercraft. It's a cool name. <clears throat> Valencians. I don't know what that means. Ice cream. Yeah, ice cream really made it. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. No, I would not. Oh, dependable auto truck. Good afternoon. Oh. Yeah, I feel the AMC guy. I worked in retail a long time. I definitely miss people less, that's for sure. <laughs> I work with people every day. I, I don't know. I mean, car people. I don't know. I just... It's good. We have this outlet, which is pretty cool, but... Yeah, it's pretty clean here. It's all about angles. I, I just think it'd be cool to go and, like, sit in a parking like lot. One. I only tolerate people to buy cars and parts for cars. That's actually who you are. All I want to do is talk cars. I, I don't want to talk about anything else. I don't want to talk about politics or the government or savings accounts. I want to talk cars. So, I think like well, after, and I don't want to talk about any of that. So, bring your dogs. Yeah, well, I'll talk about dogs. <laughs> That's why I just think you know, like if you go somewhere and you look at someone's car, like how can you have something bad? Like I don't care what it is. Like I, as I get older now, like I don't care what it is. It's if you spent some time on it, money, effort, whatever. If you're excited about it, yeah, we like to, to cool hear about me. it. If it's your passion, and I'm all for it. So I don't know. It's still weird with you guys in the middle of the show. I know. Exactly. Cars. Nothing else. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with talking <clears throat> to the cars. People can be annoying. Car people only. Well, and you know, I don't know. There's a, there's so much going on that's negative all the time. Like, you could you could spend any amount of time bitching. And, and Ugh, complaining. Neither of us really like a complain. We like to complain about complaining. Like yeah. Right now. But honestly, I mean, you have hot rods. There's nothing you can really complain so, about. A few people have popped in to come live with us, and... No, oh, Chuck, what's up, buddy? Give Wait. him a highlight. Where's Chuck? Right there. Chuck! I love this guy. How about carburetors? We'll talk about carburetors. Um, but yeah, so just a reminder, if you're going to pop in to do, like, to join us with the live, we love that, and we want you here, but you need to have your, like, preview video on so that we can just, like see what's going on. A few people have popped in and not had it, so we've booted ya. Go back up to Glutton. <laughs> My favorite part of your channel is is no politics. Glutton, you're the most politic guy I've ever seen on Instagram. Right? <laughs> like, it's ludicrous, man. Also, people who are sending us chats, like, through the StreamYard thing, we cannot respond. Because the oh, keyboard is gorillas. far away. Am I in the gorilla farm yet, Chuck, or what? I don't know how. <laughs> You sent me a message to some gorilla clan that I had to join. I tried to like something. I, I don't, didn't work. I don't Facebook well. He has my phone number. Just text me, man. It's way easier. <laughs> I identify my coworkers by what they drive. Couldn't tell you their names to save their lives. Yeah. Well, I remember that in high school. I always knew if we were going to have a substitute teacher or not before anyone else did. You need a safe zone. But <laughs> your Instagram with the politics is like it's wild. It's like I've never that. seen someone post so much <laughs> politics on one social media account. Sometimes they're so back to back, I just laugh. And they're just the some of them are hilarious. Gorillas or gorillas? <laughs> What's a gorilla? Like a. Uh... I explain it like a bad guy. Chuck is a bad guy. He's got a past. He's not allowed to visit in Canada. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what he's. I thought he was Canadian. No, he's in Seattle or oh, something like that. Oh, Chuck, why can't you come to Canada? <laughs> Gorillas. 
he likes to talk in rhymes too with gorillas, and I I never know what the hell. Gorillas, he's no fillers. <laughs> Gonna get a thrillers. He kills me. Can I pass check? Can I be part of the team? I can't go to Canards. <laughs> Pascal, turn your camera on already for the preview mode, and then we can accept you in. We can't until you do that. Well, you're doing a lot of scrolling there. I want to take off that highlight. Is Glutton the moderator? Can you make him on that? Oh, I don't know if I can. Nope. Oh, oh no. Oops. What'd you you do? have to do it on your phone. Oh. Yeah, Glenn, do you want to be a moderator? Does he want that, though? Who cares? He gets, a little, him. he gets a little wrench beside him. He looks cool. He doesn't have to do anything with it. Hey, Joe. How's it going? How's the, uh, what did you guys just install? A hot tub, right? How is it? Oh. Pascal, all we're seeing is just, like, a white thumbnail, but... I'm going to boot you, and you can try to come back in, and we'll see if that works. Don't. Man. God, am I good at technology? <laughs> Bestow him with the power <laughs> of the ban hammer. Oh, yeah, Matt. Actually, it, Matt, too. do you want to be a mod as well? I feel like you deserve that no, you power. You just do these things. You just do it. Way Hi, Murray. How's it going? <clears throat> Algebra teacher had an Avanti. Huh. What's an Avanti? Creekside Campfire, man. Creekside Campfire sounds nice. I like to visit for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And then like, like, there's no bugs or anything, right? We don't want bugs. <clears throat> Damn, censorship. Glenn, are you working? <laughs> he literally just texted me a picture of him at work. <laughs> Get a hard top already. I'm working at it. So I, I got that 56 two door sedan. I'm going to get her together and I want to put up for trade for. Camaro, early Camaro, hardtop, uh, Tri-5 Chevy, or cash. There's actually a... Uh, Hi, Johnsons. A car for sale I kind of want to buy right now. It's a 57 Pontiac hardtop. Box mouse pad power! You know what, Murray? I'm not even jealous today because I spent the last three days tanning by the pool. So I'm, like, not even jealous. Although a beach pub would be nice. You can turn a four door in time. Turn a four in time. What? <laughs> That's so accurate, Glenn. Glutton could be a moderator like Jerry Springer. Glutton, Glutton. But who? What? Who was the bot? Steve. Steve was the bodyguard. Steve, 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 Steve. I'm, I gotta beat up the Penny Boys. I still have my hat that uh, Glenn sent there. Safety hat, I think. <clears throat> Really An Avanti is a Studebaker with a fiberglass body built to compete with Corvettes and Mustangs. Huh. Oh. You know what, though? I do a good job, I think, of making the pool, like, as oasis -y as possible. I fill up my R2-D2 cooler with ice and drinks and snacks. I got my music. You go out with booze and a, wife and a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, it's great. And a towel. I don't think that's a waste of seat. <laughs> I'm floaties. Did you not enjoy your time in the pool today? Yeah, that's why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I keep reminding Corey about that damn hat. Yeah, I'm telling you. Glenn, I'm trying, man. I, I, I want to represent. I, I thought we were friends and all that, but you trusted the wrong people. <laughs> Give the pennies a... Thumbs down. No, I'm just kidding. I love those guys. We saw a lone penny boy last Sunday. A lone penny, yep. <clears throat> Whoa, that's super cool. Name I'm not going to highlight. I love that guy. You got almost everything, yeah. <laughs> nah. His name's Dick. What's the big deal? <laughs> Make it fast. Three months for one hat. <clears throat> oh, Chris, that sounds pretty cool. Our, we don't have enough room for all that stuff. Someone had asked about the Challenger or whatever. Uh, winging it, I think. Yeah. So, I, I gotta, I'm gonna do a video on, maybe I'll do the video I'm doing now about the Challenger, but, so the, I gotta email the guy back, keep forgetting, but the original owner of the Challenger, it's super cool. So, he bought it from his uncle, 
for one dollar, then turned into a race car, and then his kid was born in like '85. That's when they stopped racing it. And uh, before that, oh, what they say? They, good? they were mean to me, so I put her in a timeout. Teresa, my Anyways. voice is now on a chalkboard. Block for five minutes. Um, that's what she said. Your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. Maybe she meant as a compliment or the truth. No, she said it was really annoying, which it is. But I didn't like her tone. Well, <laughs> his tone. That's who that is. It's that person. Was he here all the time? Yeah. Well, he's booming forever. <laughs> but uh, what was I going to say there? Oh yes, the original owner. Sent me pictures of it and stuff like that, and some time slips around like low 11s. Ooh. Creepy. Henry, you made your own DD speech off hat. Well, we want to see that. Send us a pic on is it Facebook. Better than ours? Yeah. Knowing history adds to the price. Oh, Frank's Garage is in here. What? Frank's. Frank's Garage. Oh, on the thing. Yeah. I see. Well? Can I put him in before you kick him out real quick? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Franks, you're up. Here we go. Hey, guys. Hey. Yes. How's it going? Pretty good, you? Good, thanks. It's nice to put a face to, like, a name we see every week. I know it's a little well, icon. It's good to chat with you guys live. Yeah, we know the icons. We don't know what any of you look like. <laughs> That's all that really matters. Oh, oh no, Frank. Oh, we're, oh, we're good. We got you back. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, man. Your internet's yeah. pretty lame. Okay. Stupid garage internet, eh? Yeah. You gotta put the big bucks. So what do you got going on in there? Oh, just my my workshop. Oh, I didn't even boot him. Your own <laughs> internet, don't. Frank. <laughs> Frank, your own internet was against you. I ordered a custom hat, and they keep forgetting to print it. 12s is fast for real streetcar. Yeah, around 11s. We'll give Frank a minute to see if he can come back. But it was an actual race car. If you're on a mobile phone, try and do that. What does that say? Rock the ice cream cone mug tonight. <laughs> yeah. My daughter keeps stealing my DD Speed Shop shirts. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, Mr. Heavy Chevy, I hate to tell you. DD Speed Shop merch really draws in the men. So it's like it's like dude lure, you know? yeah. So uh -huh. she probably wears it because like, oh shit, so that she can speech up. meet a young gentleman. Yeah, yeah. We have a Wi-Fi box right in our shop too, actually. So if you're joining from your phone, I guess like try if you can either have good Wi-Fi or just use the, your network. But <laughs> that's what I'm afraid of. Mr. Heavy Chevy, honestly, if a, if a Dan yeah. Jr. came home, there's worse things. Franks, we're so sorry that we missed you. <laughs> that made me really sad. <laughs> but uh, send some pictures over, and I think, uh, I maybe not this week, but I think I know how to put pictures up while we're talking and stuff. I just have to set up better for it. So. I mean, Glutton, Heavy Chevy, a little Dan showing up at some sort of hot rod and picking up your daughter. You, you can trust us. Remember how mad you made Glutton? What? When you were accidentally hitting on his daughters. I said she was cute. And then he didn't talk to us for like three weeks. That was him problem. <laughs> I was fine with it. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's a dude lure. Yeah, it's a dude lure. I think my DD shirt has been overtaken by the wife also. See, so that's why you should just get two at once. That's something that you've learned. Oh, is Mr. That if... Heavy Show, he's like the nicest guy. <laughs> That's what you learned. If you buy a shirt, I made Dan's run. you usually get two. Like, you'll usually get me one, too, so that I have one of my own. I always do that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dan Jr. is hard to find, you know? I heard Dab Life's looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't mad. That was like, see? Let me get jokes. <laughs> but it's seriously, though, I would be afraid for any man that tried to date one of his daughters, because, like... Glenn's got guns. His kids are scary, too. Well, they're all, like, pro athletes, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much pro athletes, yeah. The Nova is, uh, in storage. 
why do you think you need to be near my daughter? <laughs> I know, um, it'd be cool if you guys could post pics on here, but sadly, no. All right, well, should we try the next person? Bert, sir? Bert, you're up. Oh, nice hat. Uh -huh. Dang, look huh? at that. It finally showed up. <laughs> That's a handsome individual. <laughs> it's the hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really brings out your eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's hey. going on, man? What are you up to today? Oh, just hanging with you you fine people. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I know, right? No life. It's just, it's, it's a COVID thing, I think. <coughs> well, I'm oh, I'm just, just, I'm here. Just... oh, here, no, I'll fix it. I'll do it this way. There we go. Oh, okay. I fixed it. I'm in the office, yeah. I, I haven't figured out how to do it on the phone or I'd take you down to the garage and show you the Cadillac. But uh, I wish parts for that thing would show up as fast as this hat did. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's saying something, because I bet that hat still took probably a month. <laughs> In the right. state, isn't too bad. Took two, two weeks. weeks. That's not bad. Okay. Man, I ordered this, uh, that day now. Like, everything. Today, actually, I went down to, like, so I woke up first thing this morning, 7.30. Oh. I hit the parts store for 8. So I wanted a water pump for the Challenger, water pump on the thermostat. They didn't have thermostats in stock. So I had to go to a second part store. It didn't open until 10 o'clock when I usually go to the like the speed shop. They had one in stock. That was it. Thermostats, can't get them right now. Thermostats. Thermostats. Well, I, I, got, I got a ton of stuff out of Rock Auto, but I had to get a uh, custom piece out of Cadillac Parts, it's called. Oh, last, yeah. Last shipping info was May 6th that said, oh, it's clearing customs in New York. Well, <laughs> Cadillacs are really weird. You got the heater boxes on the driver's side of the oh, really? fender. Like they're they're very similar to the '57 Chevys, but uh, it's yeah, it's right on the side, and then oh, they yeah. got this accordion thing that attaches it to the uh, the heater fan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't put that stuff in until I get the parts, so I've got this junk all over my garage. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. I know, right? What year of Cadillac do you have? It's a '57. Oh, fun. I don't yeah. know what that looks like. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> looks like a 57 Chevy, but way nicer. <laughs> well, that doesn't somewhat, surprise me. Somewhat. My, my uncle bought it back in the 80s, and then a couple of years ago, he, after all the work I've done on it over the last, I don't know, 30 years, he finally said, oh, here, it's yours. <laughs> I don't oh, know if you can, like you can see that with a hoot, but. They're nice oh, arms. That's super cool. They're big, though. Yeah. Looks like a boat. Well, if you see the stairs in the back of my garage there, my son and I actually had to relocate the support <laughs> pillar just to fit the damn thing in there. <laughs> so it's, it's a bit of a pain, but uh, I'm just waiting on the engine and transmission to come back from the builders, and then I can get her back on the road. Everything else is done. That'd be cool. Does Some your guy, son like wrench with you in the garage then? No, he moved back to Edmonton uh, about a year ago. So gotcha. it's just, just me, but... Yeah, that engine. Uh, I found a found a good uh, engine builder here in Calgary, and he's uh, sixty two hundred bucks is what they want to rebuild the damn thing. But it's the original one to the car, so I kind of kind of keep it that way. But you know, if you're gonna keep it forever, the money's kind of irrelevant, right? Well, pretty much. Yeah, uh, you know, um, I've been I've been wrenching on this thing since the '80s, so kind of like to keep it around for a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, you rebuild it; it'll last. It'll last a lifetime, and then it's good to go, right? So. Well, you said you got it from <clears throat> your uncle. Yeah, my uh, my uncle gave it to me. Actually, his brother, my other uncle, um, he's got a, a '69 uh, Judge Hardtop, which is. Oh yeah. I've I've played with that one quite a bit too. Um, turns out the the first GTO he bought in 1970 was a '69 Judge convertible. And it turns out to be the only one on the planet that was built with it was it's this horrible green color, but the, the roof was green, the interior is green, the body is green. Oh, two door hot tub, man. But um yeah, we've we've watched it go across Barrett Jackson a few times and my only claim to fame is I got to ride in it a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. pretty cool though. I think I was five, but yeah, pretty cool car. 
Um, Stuff like that, you don't even know it's rare until too many years later, right? Eh? Yeah. It was just a car oh. at the time, right? I know. He's been kicking his ass ever, or butt ever since. And uh, I mean, you just, you never know. Like, I mean, like a 74 oh. Challenger. I never thought I'd buy a 74 Challenger. It's the ugliest year Challengers. Now here it is. Yeah. Like, you know, like. I love those Challengers. And uh, when I was an apprentice mechanic back in the 80s, our shop specialized in 567 Chevys or Tri Fives or yeah. whatever you call them. And uh, yeah, so I kind of got to know them a fair bit. I uh, don't see them so much anymore, but we'd have guys come from Lethbridge all the way to Edmonton just to have us wrench on them because my old boss, he's still around. He's in uh, Calmar, Alberta, which is just south of, south of Edmonton. And oh, yeah. he's still, still building old cars and stuff like that. Uh, crusty old fart that he is. But <laughs> <laughs> it gives you something to look forward to, though, right? <laughs> well, I, 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 that's, like, that's a reality, though, is, I mean, who the hell is going to start, like, working on these cars? Like, the old guys are starting to get old guys, and now it's, like, the uh, younger guys, there's not that many know what the hell's going on. You know? I know. Back in, the, back in the late 80s, early 90s, I was picking up, uh, you know, 57 Chevy two-door sedans for, you know, a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. You know, no drivetrain usually, but um, you just don't find that. I don't. I mean, like I was watching. I've been watching your videos for, oh gosh, since last year sometime when you when it, the giveaway Chevy when you first picked that one up. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. There's nothing like that here. <laughs> Where did you find this car? <laughs> you know. Well, you know what? Like, I like. I think there's cars everywhere. It's just you got a never-ending look. Like every single day you go. And work. everybody you buy apart from is a oh. connection to a car you want. Well, I think I'm on it pretty good. Like I look all the time and I missed out. Well, I, I got it second. A guy bought it and I paid up extra. But I just, there's a, a yeah. five, last 55 Chevy hood against the garage wall here. There was a guy selling fenders and a hood. And uh, so the guy bought the whole, you know, kid and caboodle or whatever, then didn't want the hood for some reason. So I bought the hood. So I'm sure I paid. You know, he got the fenders for free. I'm thinking what's happening because I missed it, and I'm on it all the time. But I mean, in Winnipeg, oh, yeah. there's a set of fiberglass, you know, fenders and a hood, and I mean, I got my flip front end. It's just, it's so weird to see these things, but they're out there. Oh, I love them. Like uh, my uncle with the GTO, when my other uncle gave me the Cadillac, we had to drive to Northern Manitoba to pick it up. Yeah. So he came out from Cranbrook with his truck and a car trailer, and we drove all the way to. Flin Flon, Manitoba. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you guys know what that is. I'm pretty sure there's people from the States going, what the hell is that? We know, we know to stay away. Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> oh, you know what? There's a hell of a good wrecking yard up there that's got oh, some yeah? really old stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's pretty much the only wrecking yard around there. Huge and tons of old cars. It's like um, outside of Edmonton, a place called Lamont. It's Alden's Auto Wrecking. They've got... I, I pulled a 59 Pontiac out of there years back when well, I was still an apprentice, so yeah, a long yeah. time ago. But uh, I had the four-door, and it got me thinking when you were talking about Batmobiles because everyone made fun of my car and <laughs> said it looked like a Batmobile, right, 59 Pontiac. But it was a, it's a pretty darn good car. But there is there is some out here, but everyone wants the big bucks for them nowadays. Well, oh, I, just I want to try and sell some stuff. I want to sell some stuff out west. I think people got more money out there than they do here, for sure. Uh, uh, somewhat, yeah. The oil field kind of took a beating during yeah. this whole COVID thing, but there's there's a fair bit of moolah floating around out here. But yeah, try and find a '57 Cadillac. Well, that's hard out. anywhere, you know. Like some things are just hard to find. That's all there is to it, you know. Like yeah. Cadillac, one of those things you got to spend pay up and, and get oh. a good base with all the trim and all that stuff because you just you can't find it right it's a nightmare yeah well i got lucky because over the years my uncle wanted we did the floorboards and the interior i don't know about 12 years ago did the whole suspension underneath and he paid for all of that yeah and uh fortunately he kind of paid me a bit to do it too and now it's in my hands so it's just finishing time now everything's done yeah my buddy's doing the transmission and the machine shop's doing the engine, but waiting on bearings apparently. So, <laughs> well, uh, stuff like that, I heard it's pain to find right now. Like, oh, it is. I mean, you don't have to 
should make sure to sh like send us a video or something of it on its first oh, sure. drive out so we can so we can all see. Yeah, well, or, or you know, in a couple of weeks, get a if you can figure out the phone, we can take a look at it in the garage. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll clean up the garage first, but um, <laughs> well, you don't you, clean up for us. We try I mean. to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people what? know what you're getting into here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks like, so much, Bird. It was really great no to problem. talk to you and kind of hear about the Cadillac. Looking oh, for sure. I'm a I'm messy up. office. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for buying a hat, too. Appreciate that. Yeah, take oh, care. Sure. All right. Nice talking. Everybody's That's putting on cool. parts. That's cool. That yeah. is cool. It's, it is kind of nice to know Nice to know that every, it's not just you. Everybody's yeah. waiting on parts. The collective, we're all waiting. I've always been waiting on parts, though, because I work so fast. I'm always waiting. Like I tomorrow, if I was here tomorrow. I'm waiting because I just wanted to put it on right now. Yeah. Like I ordered that. I ordered the rad in, and it showed up yesterday, Friday. Yeah. So I got it after work Friday afternoon. I got it home. I had to get some tabs welded on it. So I took it to a guy to weld tabs on it. I left last night at nine o'clock to go pick it up, get the tabs back, mounted it in the car. This morning, I woke up first thing in the morning at 8 o'clock in the morning to get a new water pump and rad hoses, and it was all back together by 10 o'clock type thing. Well, most people have lives. Yeah, cars <laughs> are my life. <laughs> I'm aware. Thank you, Charles. We spent all day by the pool. Rock Auto ships, you pay for it, yeah. I'm trying to work a deal with Rock Auto, actually. The guy, a guy contacted me from Rock Auto, but I don't want to be a complete sellout, but I do love Rock Auto. I feel like is are you a sellout if it's because if it's like somewhere you love though, like if she and like if she and message me being like, hey, do you want to like promote all of our stuff? I'd be like, yeah, because I already I mean, do it anyways. Like, would a rock auto lower back tattoo really be that noticeable? I don't think so. I think it'd be kind of sexy. <laughs> wow, that tattoo is like really sexy. Can you tell me about it? What does it mean? Hey, whatever works, works, right? <laughs> my wing is doing my own procrastination. Yeah. And see, your procrastination, you order parts, and then the parts guy goes, oh, yeah, Arthur's taking six weeks. Dan must be, too. No, I want it six hours. Let's go. Put this shit together. <laughs> A rock auto tram stamp, exactly. Yeah, Amazon's behind, too, right yeah, now. Yeah, even Amazon Prime doesn't doesn't go. No, Frankie didn't swim. She's scared of the water. Actually, it's weird. I thought Frankie was really going to like the water, so I bought her, like, a little splash pad, and she hated it. She was scared of it and didn't like it. Rock Auto was pretty darn good. Yep. Tell us what you poor guys up north need. We'll drive up to the board and throw <laughs> them in line. <clears throat> Next Rock Auto TV. Hey, I would absolutely. And you know what he'll be doing? <clears throat> he'll just be flipping his hair and just. You know what? I mean, hey, I haven't made one dollar off Rock Auto and they've taken all my money. And I, I love Rock Auto. They have stuff. They get it out to you freaking quick i mean it's unbelievable i mean there's some other company someone was telling me about but rock auto man i'm telling you they're freaking fantastic and then uh, the guy wanted to do a discount code like uh so i could pass that along so everybody saves huh huh <laughs> worse than u.s mail like oh. the, this had scooped the best the uh you know what amazon i wish there was a way you could pay extra not to have it shipped Canada Post because I would pay it every time. Well, can't you choose how it comes? No. Oh. If there was a way not to use Canada Post, I would pay extra to put them out of business. Hi, so Michael in Florida. Coke and Rock Auto sponsor. <laughs> hey, man, I'm halfway there. And like a wine sponsor would be really great. <laughs> I would sell out for <laughs> wine. If any of you need somebody to promote your wine, <coughs> let me know. I'm here for it. Will do. Yeah, I know I chopped out the, the wheel arches in the 55. So that's a 31-inch tall slick on there oh, right now. Oh, Bert delivers part-time for Amazon. Uh, oh, right on, But man. he's too many provinces over. Damn. He can't be our in. <laughs> we need more ins. <laughs> no snow on the ground. Yeah, it's a nice, nice <coughs> weekend around. Oh. Pardon me. I like that, Glenn. Some people call it selling out. I call it making friends. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you got me on that. You want to promote my fuel grade vodka? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> A little face tattoo. Let's do it. 
Our parts are expensive. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Quester J. What's up, Hi, Robert. <clears throat> Only outs left. What? what does that even mean? 55 walk around. Uh, we're, we're plugged in. We're not on the camp. My yeah. phone tonight. Sorry, guys. Did you get the steering column for the wagon? Yep. <laughs> Just this don't sign it. anything. Where did I put that steering? Oh, it's on top of my toolbox. I'm having a battle with Speedway right now. They're pissing me off, dude. Now's not the time and place. Oh. Driving nuts, those guys. Okay, see? CCTC. He's got my back. He will buy at least one bottle of that wine. <laughs> okay. Well, or gin. I would take a gin <clears throat> sponsor or a beer sponsor. You know? <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to swim in any river that touches us. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I got to work on a way to get parts delivered on the other side. We'll dance for dog parts. Yeah, I will. And I will tell you all, he's a great dancer. You just got to shake it every now and again. So I want you to walk around the 55. Well, hey. <laughs> See, Glenn, I got info about Speedway. I'll message you. Oh. Not promising, he says, so. I. Yeah, I don't know if they're going out of business or what, but man, the service there has been crazy. Speedy Speedline. Ooh. Snail service mail, yeah. La Cruces? La Cruces? New Mexico? Cool. 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 Stuff their own. No life, lots of cars. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Makes me feel better with how I spend most of my time. All of my time. Mm hmm. Today was lame, though. It was too hot to be outside. <laughs> Danny, get out the glitter and doll him up. You gotta do what you gotta do for hot rods. I do love hot rods. <laughs> Want more junk for Gary? No. <laughs> you, got, you got to. He was a bad friend to make, <clears throat> but also oh, a great friend to make. Watch, watching his video, I'm like, I don't want to be this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, like, I feel like I'm going to show up with the Hoarders guy from TLC one day and be like, what's going on, man? <laughs> I've got stuff from Speedway within a week. Wow. Must be nice. You must work there. Who do like you that. know? <laughs> Things fairly normal around here, I think. Oh, Yeah, well, being in Canada really, really kills it here. I'm ready to be in the States. Come on down. <laughs> I'll take one of these and one of these. Do you have this in another color? <laughs> yeah. I'll just check the back. <laughs> I need like one of those big like Home Depot carts, you know, you push. And... <laughs> yeah. Oh, are we friends? Well, I mean, for now. I mean, I thought we were, but I guess not. <laughs> Street, Speedway treats me well. Three to five days. <laughs> What's up, Frostback? Man, BW, so I, I had a buddy. Well, I'm trying to build this car. It's been six weeks now. We've ordered three separate straight axles that have all left. He hasn't got one yet. It's ridiculous. Summit shipping to Canada is quick and cheap. So I've then. heard Summit's pretty good. I I, uh, I should try them, maybe. Hi, Chris. I really like supporting the local guys, too. Like, there's only a couple of speed shops here. If you have to take off your shoes to count all your trucks and cars, you're almost there. <laughs> I gotta get straight naked to count them all. <laughs> That's how I count to 21. I was gonna make a joke <laughs> that might have been me. <laughs> we weren't going for length, we were going for numbers. <clears throat> the power of friendship! <laughs> power of the internet, man. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Or from Eastwood. Yeah, I don't think we can get Eastwood here. Yeah, Cold War Motors is kind of too far for us to get parts, though, Michelle, unfortunately. It's like, four provinces over. I always had the best luck with Summit. Huh. Ooh, that'd be a pretty good birthday gift there, Mike. Summit's free on lar larger orders. Huh. It's free shipping to Canada? Like, here? Or Summit Canadian? <laughs> and Jake's in America? <laughs> I think I have more pictures of cars than I own than my daughter's. <laughs> 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 you should take some. Man, <laughs> it's so hot here, Jai. Oh, man. Jai, today was like it's my Australia. dream day. It was fantastic. It was 36 Celsius, then it rained for a bit. It was fabulous. I absolutely loved it. 
Free shipping to Canada. Well, maybe we'll just go shopping on Summit later. See what's out there. <sighs> Have you burned your hair from welding? Did you make videos of you cutting the fenders of the 55? The radius? Yeah. Did you decide to keep that scoop? Uh, the scoop that's on it right now. I, I want to keep that one, I think. It's the less, the least ugly. I actually don't like uh, challengers with hood scoops. Like, I like the RT hoods are kind of nice. So in Fahrenheit, it was like 91 degrees. That was more than that. Oh. It was almost, well, it was 95 or something like that. Oh my gosh, you more than that. I was like three degrees off, chill, bro. The pool is useless at 77. I'm oh perfect my at 80. gosh. <laughs> no, you don't even like it at 80. You want it to be 82. 82 is the best. Because you're a baby. 82 is the best pool temperature. That's it's fact. Oy vey. Snorkel hood, yeah. Almost done with the... My hair is so long enough to get just... <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten the creeper. I feel Dan's pain. You still haven't brought out that brand new cushioned creeper I bought you for Christmas. Shut up, Danielle. <laughs> Does it get human in Canada? Yeah. Stop having domestics, yeah. I know a former Canada Eastwood dealer. I don't give a crap about Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, the problem with Canada, and I get it. So there's like, what, 35 or 40 million people in Canada or something like that? Oh, 86 is too hot, David. And uh, that's hot tub. And like, so you get like, what's all of Canada is such a hassle, make any money, might as well sell stuff in California. That Dan's up in trouble. Yes. Yeah. Most of no one would have picked next week. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. I'd be so sad. A mm. few degrees makes a big difference. See, Henry gets it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true, Average Joe. That's what I'm starting to think. Yeah. Mm. Is Rondex an Eastwood dealer? I thought there was no Eastwood dealers here. I uh, know uh, Reggie Walker was talking about it for I a while. I hope the Skeeters all die. We will sell you California. I'm ready to move to California for the weather. I heard there's a few other issues out there, but... <laughs> yeah. Dan refuses, though, Frank Sr. He will not put his hair up to save it from the creeper. No, I like it like this. <laughs> ah! Thanks, David! Oh, we're matching. We're both wearing a DD speech app shirt. Thanks. Available on Teespring. <laughs> Shameless plug. Dad in dreadnoughts. I uh, combed my hair for the first time yesterday, and uh, bye, Tim. Thanks for be. popping in, bud. Look at that! I can pull, I'll almost pull my fingers through. Thirty-six is ninety-six degrees. Oh, okay, nobody. Yeah, see. Can we all just be impressed that I knew that it would be in the nineties in Fahrenheit? I never know Fahrenheit things. The garage was thirty-six degrees. That's hot. Where's Mervin? Where's at home? He's oh. chilling. With that shop being so clean, are you going to pull in that 47 Chevy? No, my buddy Mike's dropping off that 56 tomorrow, I hope. Peel some parts off that. Ooh, Sell yeah, it to Arthur. a future uh, sucker customer. Half Newfie here. Um, You know, Miranda, I did have kid sizes on the store at one point. I don't know if I do anymore because they didn't sell. But I can put, if there's a specific shirt you want in a kid size... I'll put it in the store sometime this week. Let me know. Rodnix is still at least on the Eastwood site to distribute it. Really, eh? Huh. I always thought, I mean, if you, uh, somebody here, I don't know if Eastwoods want to do it or what the deal is there. Or maybe it's their products weren't allowed in Canada. I forget what the story was. But if you could be an Eastwood dealer in Winnipeg, I bet you'd make some money. Yeah. You should get on that. I don't even know what that is. That's what makes you perfect to be a salesman. Have you ever met a sales rep? They don't know shit. Dan looks like an 80s rock star right now. Yeah, your hair is very floofy. The humidity is really getting to these curls. <clears throat> I can't even see myself yet. Oh, that is pretty crazy. Look good today. Ron, what are you doing? 61 is 16. That's not helpful. D.D. Eastwood. <laughs> I love being Eastwood dealer. 
Oh, magic creepers are awesome. No wheels to grab here. What's a magic creeper? Is that real? Is that like a... I'll Google it. Oh, I have my cell phone here. That's weird. Oh, so... 99 degrees in Minnesota. Holy moly. Auntie Shannon, that's very sweet. Thank you. Oh, well, thanks, sweetie. Oh, a magic creeper. It's just a blanket. <laughs> yeah, corrugated cardboard equal dirt floor keeper. <laughs> yeah. Google it. Dad has a 70s porn stash with his 80s hair. I'm telling you, and a DD's beach shop shirt. I could have any dude in the room. Go for it. I can <laughs> use the time. Is that your 55 Chevy? Why, yes, sir, it is. Shannon is a sweetheart. We love Auntie Shannon. Shannon kind of rules. How come won't let me donate? You're broke, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there where your credit card won't work, right? We've all been there. Literally today. Just kidding. No, I've been doing good. Found chicken. Wow, wow. Someone said. <laughs> The creepers don't work. <laughs> well, the creepers fine. I think the problem is your jack stands. You have a jack stand problem, not a creeper problem. Buy more for PPE supplies. Aww. You won't have to. Oh, cheaper than Eastwood. What's PPE? Is that what all this stuff is? Couldn't stand the heat. Yeah. Isn't California hot, though? Well, remember when we were in Palm Springs where it was, like, the same weather every day? It was, like, 82. Yeah. Like, all the time. And it dipped to, like, 78 at night or something. And you're like, what the hell? Oh, I'm trying <clears> to get <throat> some first comment there. Dan is a hottie. Tall, dark, covered in grease most of the time. It says yes to me. <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma. What's happening? DD's Beat Creeper. <laughs> Rebuilding a 305 <coughs> small block. Oh, paint body equipment. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. Uh, there's not a whole lot of paint and body equipment in this shop. 97 in California. Ooh, boy. It's a little hot for sure. But... I hate using a creeper. You wrench on a car and you go the opposite way. That happened to you the other day. What was that? That you wrenched on a car on the creeper and you went the opposite way because you were like, it skidded you? Well, the garage is a little slanty. <coughs> it self drains. Yukon Cornelius. Who's that? <coughs> from um, oh, from yeah. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, right? Yukon I might be wrong. Cornelius. Bye, Mr. Heavy Chevy. Thanks for hanging out, man. Later, man. He's like, I don't look like this guy. Yeah, you got Cornelius. He's got a gun and a hammer, though. He's pretty cool. Never heard of he him. saves the day. I do save the day quite often. Yeah, Matt's got paint and body covered for us. Does he? He's just going to do it? I don't know. You're right, Danny. <laughs> well, there you go. You got a little, little attaboy from BW. Good for you. I feel vindicated. If you had a supercharger, what car is the first to get it? Uh, 55 Chevy. I'd love yeah, to. Yeah, he tastes the tip. I was just thinking about that, but I didn't know that people would uh, know. That's gross. I'd love to. And that's how he finds what he's mining for. He goes. Then he can figure out how far away he is from what he needs. You gone, Cornelius! Noble guy, what's happening, man? Make the money when you can. I'm trying, Chuck. Keith, I think we're okay on 3D printed parts, but those are cool. <sighs> yeah. We gotta make more money somehow. Dan, right. put Danny to work and have her shoot a pinup calendar with your cars, and then you could buy more cars. <laughs> yeah. Sounds That'd be good. kind of fun. So as an Amazon guy, you know how hard it is not to laugh when you deliver in an apartment, buzz the thing... Says Amazon guy, I have a package for you. <laughs> and then you just hit play on your boom box and it just starts going. Bow, 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 bow. XOZ, what's happening, man? 
Uh, I think the Challenger now has about 50 miles on it since we've since uh, we've been going. Ozman, you're never invisible. We just ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, we're uh, very far <clears throat> from bad, Chad Michelle. We're like so like this is Canada, okay? We're right here. So all the like Cold War motors is here, and bad Chad is like here, and we're like here. <clears throat> more money. Who needs more money? Junk is cheap. Yeah. Very wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. Just wrong. You know you liked it because you're always giving zingers and I was on it. With you that were one. on it. That looks like a 70s porn star. Well, try. We like to keep things spicy and fresh. I'll slide across the hood, no problem. <laughs> Do it right now. <laughs> Do a box Chevy or GMT truck. I've done a few of those. 55 versus Slant 6 Miata. I'd race Uncle Tony right now. <laughs> when you got Danger Dan. Yeah. I don't think anyone calls you that. Man, Bad Chad. Like, that guy. He puts out YouTube videos every single day, I think. It's unbelievable. And he films a TV show. Is he still doing that or not? Oh, I assume so. That guy. But still, like, that's a hustler. Oh, yeah, the Cobra. Maybe. We gotta, we gotta get a little bit of. We got too much stuff here. Starting to get a little yeah, anxious. We got another car coming tomorrow. That's six. Oh, BW. Cars. Anyone that doesn't love Uncle Tony's garage can just leave. <laughs> the love that we have for Uncle Tony is like, like, it's a lot. It's a lot. Bad Chad's great. Yeah, Bad Chad's cool, man. I, I dig his stuff. He's just out there giving her every day. I just, even if you're not in no TV for chat, oh, so that's why he's giving her on YouTube. I thought because usually if you're on YouTube, you probably got some sort of deal you can't be on TV. Last time I was in Canada, I remember you buy gas in every town because you folks sure like your space. Accurate. <laughs> yep. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, back to the 50s. Back to the 50s. Yeah. We definitely want to. Actually, I bought a really cute, like, strawberry dress that I think you'll like, and it's kind of 50s. Dan is hotter than Tony. It's a shame that I'm not a girl. <laughs> I'm telling you. There's a chickie with a field full of cars like you have. You'd be out. I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, go. Go find one. Well, I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. Go find them. Don't change, Dan. Don't let the bright lights of scripted reality TV seduce you. Glenn, I have a spoiler. <sighs> None of this is real. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're our names aren't even Dan and Danny. <laughs> yeah. My name is Felicia. <laughs> this is all a production. This is a fucking set. This was yeah. ten million dollars to produce. <laughs> you should see the sound stage. You yeah. should have seen how well the pilot was received during Sweeps Week. It was unreal. Pilot season ate him up. <coughs> Apparently they wanted Jennifer Aniston to play me, but <laughs> I beat her up. They said it wasn't believable enough. Yeah. They said her voice wasn't scratchy enough. They said a little more chalkboard nails. <laughs> is that a green screen grab? Yeah. No, the, it is so clean in here. Like the the makeup and wardrobe people have to really dull it up. Yeah. I, I'm such a neat freak in real life. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, you guys have seen inside the house. It's just pristine. <laughs> pristine. Uh. Yeah, we could never leave all this, Glenn. That basically is the end of it. <laughs> We'd never, never sell out for more money. <coughs> uh, <laughs> on the green screen. Yeah, I don't even own these cars. I don't even know what a car is. I think a Tesla to work every day. Oh, you take a Tesla to it drives me. You would never trust that technology. No. There's no way you would ever trust that technology. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, BW's oh. fake too. Like his is all soundstage. Yeah. Yeah. We we dealt we film in 4K and then put it out in 480 so it really dumps yeah. down. You know, like. <laughs> <coughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Eintracht's cool. That guy's uh, Matt there. He's, he's wicked. Yeah, the Truman Show. That's what we basically are. <laughs> What's the Truman Show? That's what with the Jim Carrey. He's on like an island. And it's all, it's like a reality show about him. And everybody's an actor except for him or something like that. Oh, I really like that. Is that what my life is? Yeah. I use fake smokes. <laughs> uh, I don't think they can produce fake smokes fast enough to keep up with you, Matt. <clears throat> Would you put a carburetor in a Tesla? Man, so I love what Uncle Tony's doing with that Miata. Hi, Larry the Boxer. What do you call it? It was like Amish Speed Society. <laughs> he was talking. And, he, and it was de teching cars. Oh, I love that. I think that's, that's friggin' awesome. Just like. You know, take a car that you think is kind of cool, but put something in it that you understand. Yeah, Murr is a mirage. Doesn't really even exist. We've never met Murr in our life. <laughs> Not as bad as the underwear commercials. Hey, man. I've turned down some pretty lucrative commercials <laughs> for stuff like that. The stuff they'll pay you to talk about... Uh, well, I was talking back and forth with a lady from, uh, what was that shaving? Harry's Razors. Yeah. And I tried to give her a bunch of ideas. She shot them all down. <laughs> she didn't want to have any humor, which I thought would be hilarious. I wanted to, uh, they were going to pay was like 750 bucks or something like that for a 40-second ad. And I was like, well, can I just be random about it? Just be like shaving under the car or something like that? She's like, no. I'm like, oh, I'm out. Then I said. <laughs> Wait till next season's Murr shows up. <laughs> <laughs> He's been recast. That would be good. We should recast Murr. Just someone totally different. Google bright sellers about my wine problem. I just might do that. Oh, Bear Rose, that's pretty cool. Like, yeah, like we love Uncle Tony. <laughs> oh, Uncle Tony's awesome. The hairdresser did a good job on dance hair. Yeah, you got a really good stylist today. Yeah. It's very soft. Oh, sorry. My contract says I'm only allowed to touch yeah. you six times. Yeah. This more of a stunt double. Yeah. For all the stunts he does. Yeah, the guy wanted more money. <laughs> <laughs> James Woods is <laughs> This is a very fun <clears throat> game. Okay. Who would you guys cast as, like, Dee Dee's Speed Shop regulars? So, as you, as me, and as Mer. Who would you cast? I want to know this now. You mean that you don't want to sell the ball trimmers? I didn't want to sell them. They have those? But I wanted to get paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> I need more myrrh. Uh, they're supposed to rip it. Jim Carrey. I could do that. <clears throat> I would love to see the director that could control you, too. Oh, I... <laughs> I hate Nick you, Cage. Nick Cage would do anything, I think. You do not listen to instructions. No. Nick Cage is who? As uh, Dan or is Murr? <laughs> Danny DeVito is Murr. That's not bad. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> they look very identical. Uh. Sean Penn is Dan. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Red green is Dan. Eva Longoria. Oh, Jesus. So good. Okay. You know, just for replacing you. So it's winning for me. Oh. You'll go back to the bus, back to the minor leagues. As long as I get paid. <laughs> yeah. Some kind of royalty. The, uh, yeah. The current Brad paychecks. Brad Pitt. Well, Brad Pitt's playing down. I'm the playing current, myself. Uh, the current paychecks will remain for you. If you step down as your role, I guarantee it. <laughs> when I'm currently paying you, I will continue to pay you. Nothing. I can afford that. <laughs> it's nothing. Can I at least get a raise of like a nice dinner or something? No. You had ice cream yesterday. Remember that? Jennifer time? Lopez. Okay. Yeah, so we go okay, to get ice cream wild. last night. We're in line at uh, Dairy Queen. The only Dairy Queen that's open because it's late. And Dan's like, what are, you know, what are you getting this? So oh I'm my god, a, don't talk uh, about the twist cone. I'm getting a twist cone dipped, I said. They don't have twist cones here, she says. She's mad about it. I'm not mad. I just didn't think they had twist cones. I'm like, it's Dairy Queen. They have twist cones. No. No, they don't. Well, I got my twist cone. It was a terrible... I also got my twist cone. I enjoyed mine. Well, they didn't dip mine properly. I hate that. Matthew McConaughey is Dan. Oh, yeah. Kat Dennings is me. You guys are uh, listening uh, like a her. lot of white people. 
Well, what, Except what? for J Lo and uh, Eva Longoria. What other brown people are? Mindy Kaling is the only appropriate choice to play me in anything. I put my notice in. <laughs> Oz, Aww, man, that's, that's sweet of you. Ooh, is... Fran, Fran Drescher <laughs> could play me. I'd be fine with that. She's white, though. You I don't care. I'm fine with that. Fran can play me. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield. We'll get that later. Drew Carey, come on. <laughs> Long hair Nick Cage. Yeah, like from, uh, what was that uh, jail movie he was in? Cad Bundy is Danny. Oh, she's too cool for me. She's she scared me. Maintenance. Oh, Selma Hayek, you like her. I do like her. You wouldn't understand a word she says. Who cares? You don't. You don't pay attention to her. Love six pack soup. Yeah, thanks, man. <clears throat> Danny is dark hair girl on that seventy show. Oh, like Jackie, uh, Mila Kunis. She's a smoke show, yeah. Got them creaky eyes. I don't see color, I see talent. Martha Stewart. Then why are you here if all you see is talent? <laughs> we don't have much here. Dan should be Dan. <laughs> hey, I'd let I'd, I'd be cast as something else. Who's D Snyder? Uh, he's the lead singer of uh Dana Carvey is you isn't bad. Uh, I like the Mila Herkunis. <laughs> <laughs> I do cook pretty good. Murr is Mr. Miyagi. Murr really is. Yeah. The problem is I don't have the patience of Danielson. No, and your name is Daniel. Oh, yeah. Murr can try and teach me stuff. Okay, like, okay. I... Twisted Sister. Oh, Polly Shore is not bad oh, yeah. either. Mer What's a biodome? <coughs> Maybe it goes both ways. We do. Uh... <laughs> the, uh, the other day I was talking to Murr. I was at his place. Picking up a jigsaw or something like that for cutting the radius. I'm telling him about how I'm lifting the front end of the 55. And we got into an argument about how I was going to lift it. He's like, no, you're, what you want to do won't work. I'm like, yeah, it will. No, it won't. Yeah, it will. No, it won't. We get into it. He goes in to the garage, gets a sheet of uh, masking paper, like uh -huh. puts it on my mom's car. <laughs> he's got a marker. And he's just drawing them. I'm like, no, it's going to work. He's like, no. And he's he, just, <laughs> he kept trying to explain it. Oh, crap. We have... He just, the teacher in him, couldn't let her go. I'm like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to work out. He's like, no, no, you're wrong. I'm not wrong, I said. <laughs> just no amount of listening was going to work. He could try and keep explaining, and eventually he just said, I'll see you later. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Either actors are tall enough. Carrot top. Ugh. I guess Dan is Dan, and Danny is Danny. <laughs> Well, you know what? They work cheap, those guys. Yeah, they're very inexpensive. <laughs> yeah, and <coughs> and they're free. They don't have a lot going on. Not a lot on the horizon. <clears throat> Howard Stern. I love Howard Stern. I listen to him every day. I got burnt the top of my foot. The flops failed me. Did you not put sunscreen on your feet? Even I wore sunscreen I think today. I did, but you know what happens is it rubs off on the... Where the thong part of it is. Mm. Oh, Jaws, what's happening, man? Who's Barb? I don't know who Barb is. Mr. Rogers is. And her. you're still wrong! <laughs> no, no. I'm going to prove it on the internet that you're wrong, man. Matt, that's a good memory. Yeah, honestly, I think you could cast anyone as me, and it would be <laughs> ethnically correct at this point in my genealogy. Give Murr a quick block while we're at it. Just no, that. I would never block Murr. <laughs> Hi, Murphy. Murr brought oh, me God. ice cream. Oh, yeah, that was pretty sweet. <clears throat> Uncle Tony, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he measured up and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's Sam Kinnison? He's a comedian. I will cast the car from Two Lane Blacktop at 55. Well, that's convenient. I love me some mer. <laughs> Thumper. Oh, I didn't mean to click it, but you are not wrong. <laughs> He's terrific. Everyone can just keep writing nice things about mer, and I'm going to highlight them. Oh. Just to make him mad. And by him, I mean Dan. Mer gets so much. 
Can't wait to see the challenger at Kuga. Kuga. What's Kuga? <laughs> Dan is Mur. Mur is Danny. Danny is <laughs> is Dan. I like that. Who else wants to see Mur go live to draw on the mask? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just prove me wrong. No, you're wrong again. Mur is funny AF. Mur is my polishing hero. <laughs> Mur is something else, I tell you. He's great in like 15 minute increments. Like one video, he's great. All day's a little much. <laughs> he does have a lot of good stuff that he lets me have, which is pretty slick. Yeah. I should make sure the dogs are okay. <laughs> Best thing Mur would do is give us Dan. Yeah, there you go, Mur. Cayuga is a Toronto Motorsports Park. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, thanks, man. Dan reminds me of 1970 oh, Danny, Joe Walsh. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks. <laughs> what size tires on the back of 55? They are, uh, they're actually, a, so they're 315.60, which translates to, a. Uh, 31135. Murr, how's your Volvo coming? Tell the good people. At least I want to do it. Murr could polish out Joe. Man, I had to polish my own car and stuff. It's just terrible I times. Okay. The people even saw that I helped. I actually really want to polish the uh, satellite. I, was, I don't know if I should or not. It looks so how it looks right now, but we'll see. Boat time? What? What's boat time, Josh? <laughs> it's not Hotel California. It's Hotel Winnipeg. You can check out any time, eh, you hoser? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All the hard drugs. <laughs> yeah. The 55 is dope. I love that 55. This 55... <laughs> Whoa, just look at it. I was hating that car. <clears throat> oh, okay. Anytime you want to wrestle, Mer, I'll, I'll take you out. Next week, live Mer, Mer on uh, Dan action. We'll... <laughs> Mer on Dan yeah. violence? We'll arm wrestle it. You did the challenger great. Yeah, thanks. Mer, what year is <clears throat> your Volvo? You didn't watch the video, obviously, <clears throat> Kenneth. Because Mer explained every bit of those cars to a fault. It's like a 68, I think. I hate most cars I work on. Yeah, I know the feeling. And Mer speaks. <laughs> I got yeah, 20, 20 on Mer. Mer. Come on. <laughs> Mer would probably think it out, though, and use he some sort of smarts that I wouldn't figure out. He'd be able to be like, well, he's leaning this much on his front leg and this much on his back with this angle, and if I do this. <laughs> Fired up your 468. That's cool. I mean, sleepy. Well, the 55 was storage. Nice. That challenger has got balls. That challenger is something else, yeah. The next <laughs> video, it's pretty... I did watch, but he's old and he forgets. Look at his profile picture. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, they're Mickey Thompsons. <laughs> <laughs> nice blowout, bro. Did you go to the, the dry bar for that? The only problem is 55 now, so it's got the motor I've done. It's got a Built 400 with a high stall. It's got the tires and all that I like, but it's still got the stock rear end, so I gotta, I gotta do that before she blows up. <laughs> yeah, you probably would. Stupid smart mer. Do the great work. Thanks, buddy. A little over the top. You said that weird. What? Thanks, buddy. What are you making for dinner? I don't know. What are you ordering me for dinner? Oh, I see where this is going. Holy crap, 904. Yeah, that's why I said I'm sleepy. Spent all day in the sun. <laughs> yeah, you had a hard day. I'm very tanned. <clears throat> Stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> 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 going to put a front bumper on 55? No. The 55 looks so... Doesn't it look good? Yeah, I'll get, all... I'll get my sexy hair out of the way. Look at this thing. <laughs> It looks so good like this. These giant tires in the back. I See you, like... Bert. Thanks for chatting with us for a little bit. That was awesome. We Who's look that? forward to seeing your car. Bert. Oh, uh, later, Bert. Yeah. I wish you guys could see this angle. Ooh, Sorry. burritos. That sounds okay. Except, you know what? I have a confession. 
You know how much you love Taco Time? Yeah. I love Taco Bell, I discovered. Taco Bell's kind of gross. Taco Bell's delicious. <clears throat> it's way better than Taco Time. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It's way better than Taco Time. No. It's way better. Like, no. legit. No. Taco Bell is way better than Taco Time. Adjusted care. Yeah, my hair is crazy today. The humidity really, really messed with it. When is Danny getting her gremlin bill? Well, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. It was a great night. Appreciate everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Um, leave a comment below. <laughs> yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Your hair is crazy. <laughs> it's nuts it right is now. very hard to take you seriously. I don't know why it's so nuts. But at least it's very soft. Crazy, yeah. Is that on one side? No, that looks way really worse. <laughs> that really helped. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> Are we actually out of here? Yeah. Okay. Well, see, I, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, right? So I don't know if we'll do a drive or anything like that. Yeah, it's supposed to rain like all day. So if it's nice in the afternoon, we'll do something. Otherwise, uh, well, we might do a live thing here. Look at the 56. I don't want Mike's dropping that off. We'll do something tomorrow. Ooh. Anyways. Bye, yeah. friends. See you Thanks next weekend or tomorrow. Or, <laughs> or sometime. <laughs> Bye.